everybody. My name is Doug. And as they just mentioned in the opening theme song, I love movies. This is our movies. I know I gave you guys a weird cue, and uh, that's what happens when you give out a weird cue, is uh, the response was uh, pretty mellow. But we're coming to you once again from our original home, the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater, Franklin Location. Yes. Powerful, powerful turnout late on this Tuesday, August 29th. Hey, how you doing? Uh, It's personal service tonight with the audience. I'll chat with each and every one of you. 2017, we've got four guest chairs, one hour and 15 minutes, it's dark and I'm not wearing sunglasses. (laughs) Hit it. Uh, No, but do we have uh, name tags tonight? Do we have at least four? One, two, three, okay, we're good. All right, so (laughs) we got enough name tags for uh, all of my guests to, uh, to get to play for somebody. Doug Plugs, Cleveland, this Saturday, September 2nd, 4.20 uh, at uh, Hilarities, hello, part of the Accidental Comedy Festival. Then Monday, Labor Day, I'm going to be in Denver doing stand-up at 4.20 at Comedy Works in Los Angeles. The next show here is uh, over at Meltdown Comics on Thursday, September 7th at 9 p.m. All of my dates and deets and links uh, can be found at douglovesmovies.com. That's douglovesmovies.com. Yeah! <laughs> you guys did it. I brought a prize bag. I uh, got to go to the uh, premiere of the new season of uh, uh, You're the Worst, yeah. which, uh, which returns in, in, in this season. Their fourth season starts on September 6th, uh, week from tomorrow. And uh, I already saw the first two episodes. I can tell you they're very good, even though I'm not in them. <laughs> I show up later in the season. But uh, in the very first episode, Edgar's in a good place because he's got a job uh, in television writing for the show Doug Loves Sketches. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I've said too much. Anyway... Uh, I brought for the prize bag a uh, blue card from Getting Doug with High, a Doug Loves Movies t-shirt, a glass that I stole from the San Francisco Punchline when I was there uh, last weekend. Um, some, this is something, somebody gave me a bunch of things from the Field Notes Company uh, in Chicago when I was just there. And so this is uh, a, a little package of, I think it's six Field Notes uh, click pens. Yeah, cl- I never heard that. Ex- click pen, and it's C L I C, no, no K on click. I guess, I guess somebody had the rights to that. And then I also brought uh, a whole bunch of, uh, you know, the person who wins a prize bag is going to get one of these uh, peacemaker pipes. But I've got so many of them, and they're so Christmassy, and uh, so I feel like I need to get rid of them all by Christmas. It's August, you know. I- <laughs> I still got time, but I still brought uh, more than the one uh, tonight uh, to just randomly fling at people. So uh, put your hand over your face if you don't want to be hit in the face by one of these. But if also you would like one. Get like in a catching. Oh, look at that. (laughs) I want to throw to that guy again because he he was so close. Hey! And let's give one to a lady. Are you a lady? Sorry, dude. Where's, where's the lady out that wants one? Okay, here we go. Good luck to us all. Don't don't let it hit you in the face. Did it get to her? Yay! Very good. Uh, as you know, if you follow my Instagram, I like to show off my throwing skills. My random key card into a garbage can throwing skills. So all that stuff is in the prize bag, plus stuff brought by my guests. So let's get him out here. Please give a big warm welcome to... Eric Edelstein, Vanessa Johnson, Louis J. Gomez, and Jacob Siroff. Hey, you guys. 
sit wherever you like. Put your stuff down. Grab a microphone. Let's meet everybody individually. I didn't even ask you backstage, Eric. We're going to talk to you first. Did it, is it Stein or Steen? Stein. Oh, it's Stein. I'm such an asshole. Well, we'll go back and we'll fix that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just give it to you now, Ryan, and you can lift it, the sound here and then drop it over uh, his name earlier when I said it. Stein! <laughs> just drop that in. It's going to sound totally natural and cool, and everybody's going to love it. And Eric Edelstein, it's such an honor to have you here because you're here because I was talking shit about you on this very podcast and confusing you with another actor and somebody set me straight on the internet. What was that other guy's name? Do you know? Brad Hankey. Have you been mistaken for him before? You won't believe this and I waited to tell you till now. He used to live two houses down from Whoa. me. Went on a couple dates with my now wife. What? Yes. And then this lady in my neighborhood <laughs> still thinks I'm him. I drive by and she's like, Brad, Brad. And he sounds like this incredible guy. He would like help this elderly woman in her home. And like my wife fixes stuff around our house. My so wife. I, I, my wife. I have nothing. Okay. I'm nothing. But he's a really nice guy. Was there any hanky panky? I think there was. I think there was for sure. His if it's Brad Hanky. His name's Hank. I'm throwing you softballs here, man. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, that's, that's very cool that, uh, that you showed up here. Because I was talking about how we, when we first met, was at the uh, premiere of the movie Green Room. Yeah. And you were sitting right behind me. And you had a great time during that premiere. Oh, really? Yeah. What you were do? very vocal. Was I really? Throughout the whole thing. Did you have some drinks beforehand? I did. <laughs> and, and then, the, but truly... The last thing I remember of the night was you gave me one of those pens. A vape pen, yeah. And then I ended up like near Torrance. <laughs> like the last thing I remember was like Doug Benson's weed pen, which like if it's offered to you, you have to do it. It's like a rule. Sure, of course. But I we kind of got, we were, didn't we get yelled at for smoking in that after party? I think we did. Yeah. I think we did. I don't think they allowed it. No. But I, it was frowned it's on. It's a new world now. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Welcome to California. Well, January. It'll be in January. I'll be a lot more uh, lippy with uh, people that tell me I can't smoke. No, I won't. <laughs> it's their place. It's their rules. But thank you so much for being here, dude. And and great job in the movie Green Room. I understood why you'd be at your own premiere and enthusiastic about the movie. But you also know that it's an intense movie, right? Yeah. Yeah, and you were cheering for things. Oh, was that really? Yeah, mostly the Nazis. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get close on set. Yeah. And it's like, you don't see right? him as a, as a Nazi. Yeah. It's you like, see Patrick Stewart as the poo emoji, not a Nazi. Yeah. He would like, talk to me at lunch. I'm like, this guy's awesome. Yeah, he must have been neat to work with. Oh, yeah. Very, yeah. Seems like a very nice fellow. All right, well, thank you for being here. And uh, it's a first-timers club tonight uh, because we also have joining us on the panel for the first time, Vanessa Johnson, everybody. <laughs> Hello, hello. Who I met through the Kill Tony podcast, where she was... Uh, are you not the regular person anymore? Um, I retired in January to start going on the road, so... Yeah, to start you know, actually working Making as a money. comic. yeah. After doing a minute every week on their uh, crazy 60 podcast. 60 weeks, so... 60 times? Yeah, so 60 minutes. So then you had an hour and you went out on the road with like, it. like, hello world, I'm ready for you. Yeah, yeah that's neat. I like that. And now they got somebody else doing it, I guess. So uh -huh. they, they like Fuck to, that bitch. No. They, like to <laughs> <laughs> they like to just pick people and have them uh, be the, the person that's on every week. Right. It's usually a lady. Maybe someday you'll get a shot. <laughs> I, would, I would love to be the weekly uh, the person ladder. on that show. I'm going to apply for the position. <laughs> Uh, very, very soon. But you like movies? You, do you enjoy movies? Uh, yeah, I watch a lot of movies. I had like a kind of a weird job from 2010 to like 2015, so I like crushed movies during that time period. So I'm like, anything So if that you're, say you're saying I need to ask you about movies during that time period. Yeah, I'll I wish I had gotten that information ahead of time. <laughs> it's okay. Because I would love to set it up so that you uh, would win tonight. I mean, you know. <laughs> I've never lost anything. No, it's kidding. Um, <laughs> I don't lose. Yeah. Um, well, we'll see how you do tonight. Thanks. 
<laughs> judgment much? Um, <laughs> no, just more of a segue into introducing another first-time guest. You know, you know who you are. Hi. We got high today on the internet, you and I. Oh, yeah, we on did. Getting Doug with High. It's Louis J. Gomez, everybody. Hi. Half Puerto Rican. You're goddamn right I am. Yeah. That's yeah. probably the first time on this show we've had one of those. <laughs> <laughs> one of thems. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Half you Puerto know, Rican. You know, usually uh, Puerto Ricans are being ejected from movie theaters, so... <laughs> They don't really get the full movie experience. Right? A lot of yelling out at the oh, screen. Yeah, yeah it was like we act like him every time. We don't even have to be drunk. It doesn't have to be our premiere. We just act like it is. <laughs> yeah. All right. And uh, you're visiting from uh, New York. Yeah. And what's going on uh, out here? Is there anything else that you could plug while you're here? Uh, you know, it's a race war. Just trying to take part. And... Uh, <laughs> You know, just wait. You know, you're going to pick a side. Just wait and see who's winning. And uh, Did you get a discount on your airfare if you tell them that's what you're coming to town for? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do. Get the race war rate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I flew uh, Unite the Right Air. Uh, <laughs> United. United the Right. I don't know. I'm high from earlier today with you. Um, yeah, we had a good session today. We did. That was fun. Got deep. Ron Funches was there. <laughs> oh shit this is a person that Ron, thought Ron Funches died three years ago <laughs> oh my god such good news he's still with us yeah we should definitely check that one out and uh, while you're here check out our fourth panelist it's Jacob Siroff check me out while you're here now, Jacob, part of the reason I asked you to be here is because you won on that uh, most uh, a recent show, not the most recent one, but you won up in uh, Tacoma. I did. Right? I did, yeah. Yeah, that's what happened there. And uh, so I asked you to come do this show. But I also knew when I was asking you that we had, you know, one of the stars. And when I say a star of the new Twin Peaks television series... We're talking about one of hun three, hundreds of yeah, people. About 300 people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a lot of acting roles on this new uh, 18 episodes of Twin Peaks. But, uh, but Eric here plays a character, and I don't want to screw this up, named Smiley? Fusco. <laughs> yep. Smiley. And uh, so I had to have Jacob on the show because Jacob's the only person I know. He's not the only person I know. Lots of people love it, but he's the only person I know that's deeply obsessed yeah, with it. Yeah, it's, it's kind of... I would say about 65, 70% of my life right now, Twin Peaks. Because you watch, he watches episodes over, did he already tell you this backstage? He watches, op he's seen some of the episodes repeated times. I've probably seen them about five times each. I, uh, I haven't gone five, but I've gone yeah. two or three yeah. on some. I, I, I'm a nerd about it too. Like I watched every episode on the couch with my mom. You watch your own episodes? No, 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 the first ones. Oh. The 89. And yeah, I watch my own episode. What is your like, yeah. Yeah, We already established that. It's a party, man. How does your mom feel about yeah. the show? My, my uh, Marianne, Eric, it's a little over our heads, I think. <laughs> yeah, the guy's been painting shovels for a while now. Dr. Amp. What's and I love Jerry that? Horn. Jerry Horn's the guy, man. Jerry Horn, of all the people, Jerry Horn, really? He's going to have something to do, though. I've been predicting that for a while. Well, he's he's stoned, a, He's man. in a factor into the climax. He already oh, kind of yeah. has, but he's not done. But also, Doug, I did, uh, we did the show... <laughs> in New York to get at the Gramercy and with Dana Ashbrook who plays Bobby Briggs on Twin Peaks so now I got Smiley Foos I'm just working my way up to Laura Palmer I feel like eventually it's gonna oh, happen oh that's who you want to meet is that lady I think she'll do the show eventually is she, she doesn't she, you see her picture in the TV the new series yeah you see her picture in the, the opening credits but she credits. doesn't show up right no but she gets dead. she gets no, in she... the cast every episode because her picture's in the opening credits wow she's in the Black Lodge that one episode this year. Oh, right. We did. We've seen her, but she's yeah. not in everything. Oh, there's like a flashback? No. She, she acts, and it's like her character has been aging even though she's dead, and she's stuck in there. Whoa. What? It's a trip, man. I yeah. want to hang out with the little midget guy, like in the, uh, oh, the he's weird a, he's red out. room. He's a tree with a brain attached to it now. They Whoa. fired him. Yeah. He was difficult. What? <laughs> yeah. He was horrible. He went Hollywood? He was apparently... <laughs> yeah. Look at, oh, oh, he yeah. went on like, Facebook and claimed that David Lynch based the story on his real life and was actually raping his daughter. Whoa. And that, he had, that David Lynch had his best friend murdered. He put all this on Facebook. Well, you know what happened was he was on tour with Kid Rock for so many years. Yeah. <laughs> That'll do it. He was just <laughs> went fucking crazy. Uh, what was that dude's name? Yeah. You probably know. You look like you'd know. No, What's his know. name? <laughs> His name was Joe, I think. Yeah, he died, right? Tiny Joe. I think no, that was a Limp Bizkit midget. Didn't they all have midgets? 
Did they? Was, they really it did. Was all a, of David those Lynch new started metal, that shit, man. New metal '80s rock bands minute. really had their own little pet midget. It was a thing for a minute, but then Kid Rock really upped the stakes when he hired a, a, a black lady drummer with blonde yeah, hair. That's the next level. That was pet another. What? what the hell's going on in this band? But they were great. They yeah. were all great together. Yeah. <laughs> little fuck, little fuck, Joe. What was his name? Joe C. Oh, there we go. There you go. Uh, we were close. Rest in peace, man. Yeah, actually, yeah. let's be respectful. Yeah. Tiny coffin. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's the positive side of it, right? Yeah. Save the tree. Yeah. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, what's, uh, how, what's the rate for your toddler coffins? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you know, oh, shit. I mean, is it a money saver or... Uh, they still figure out a way to make it so nice you have to really pay for they it. They really did have... They only we had to make this one special, they probably <laughs> say. This tiny coffin. That's hilarious. All right. <laughs> that was fun to talk about. But we're here to, uh, you know, talk about movies, which we'll do in a second. But uh, let's see what you guys brought for the, the prize bag. It's always interesting when someone's never been on the show before and doesn't know what to expect. And I, I just send you a text saying, bring something for the prize bag. You're like, what does that even mean? So let's start with Lewis. What did you come up with? Uh, well, Doug, knowing you, I figured that your fan base probably likes to get a little high. Uh, there's a couple, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I did was... A lot of people are just straight-edge nerds, though. Did you bring cocaine? I brought... No, 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 even better. I brought like cocaine. a pre-roll joint and a 20-milligram Adderall. Whoa. <laughs> That's something you're allowed to just give away to people? No, this is an audio podcast. We're kidding. Oh, okay. If you're Wink. Por- if you're Puerto Rican, it's cool, I think, anyway. <laughs> These are jokes, Doug. Obviously, it's not a real Adderall. All right. <laughs> give it up. <laughs> it's going right in the prize bag. <laughs> there it is. Okay, good job. I don't know if... Eric can top this. I don't have drugs. I, should. I wish I did. But I think I, you have something that's pretty neat. No, I have the Mystic Seer bobblehead. This has been in my home, and any bit of bad luck or bad mojo comes with the doll. So I just have to say that there to cover my base. And then you get a Gil Hodges bobblehead. And I carried this around Dodger Stadium. This went in, in bathrooms. Dude, which, your wife said, get those fucking bobbleheads yeah, out dude, of the house you're today fucking 40, or you're dude. out, okay? Get it. We don't need it. And then you texted him, dude, bring some stuff. He was like, perfect. <laughs> no, I'm getting rid of him to bring in a Cody Bellinger bobblehead. Like, that's the saddest part, too. Like, yeah. All right, pass him down here. Okay, Good here job. we go. I have never had double bobbleheads from no. uh, any, any, any one guest. So this is pretty... I'm sorry about my behavior amazing. at the premiere. <laughs> Well, it was just so funny because I was like, like this guy that's playing this terrifying bouncer is just yelling, yeah, in my ear every time somebody gets really violently maimed. And, uh, but I can't complain because it's, it's his movie. I'm, I'm making the bobbleheads make out like crazy. Really, the, this one really likes to get in there. Make the one give the other one bobblehead. It's always a Puerto Rican Day Parade for Luis Gomez. (laughs) (laughs) Choked on it a little bit. Choke up on that bat. (laughs) All right, so... (laughs) It's a good baseball sex joke, Doug. Yeah, right? I tried. Uh, um, Vanessa, what do you got? So today's lucky winner is going to walk away with not two, but three... (laughs) Bobbleheads. <laughs> what? Oh, what? No. You brought a bobblehead? Great minds. Another bobblehead? Uh, this is John Wick, you guys. Um, yeah, give it up for John Wick. Um, Happier than Gil Hodges. There's I mean, something you know, going on. The We we texted. No, um, we literally never met. Uh, the producer of John Wick actually gave this to me. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I was like, and dude. Said, I love you so much. Please just take this as a gift yeah. from my heart. Hey, dude, this is my fucking gift section, okay? And then just like... <laughs> No, he was like, dude, he was like, uh, <laughs> he was like, I was like, dude, I was like, I loved your movie so much. And, and he was like, here. And I was like, I didn't like it that much. Like, <laughs> but cool. Like, I can't keep that. Doll. It yeah. has a gun. I've seen Chucky too many times. So I'm just like, good luck, everyone. Um, yeah, get him down here. Let's get a three-way going. 
But it's a it's a Funko Pop vinyl, so his head doesn't actually bobble. But, oh, uh, fuck. But it's still close enough that someone's getting a lot of dolls tonight. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, there, somebody's really... If you have, like, zero dolls at home, you're going to triple your doll situation. <laughs> Doug, can I have my Adderall back? Hey, can I have that bag that you brought it in? Oh, this bag? Yeah. Is yeah. That, do you need that? No, take it. Okay, yeah, that's going to really be helpful for me to consolidate. All right, listen. All this stuff. Can I have half the Adderall back, and then we're going to split the half, and then they can have the other half. That sounds fun. That was. I'm going to be honest with you, because I realize my gift's too good. <laughs> yeah, go, go, go ahead and divide that you up. A, you How are you going to cut it? You got a pill cutter on you? Come on, really? He's Puerto Rican. He's <laughs> like, I was born with this skill. Wow, right down the middle. You, you cannot teach that. Yeah, you can only do that if you're half something. <laughs> All right, so you guys going to take that right now? Yeah. It's yeah, you okay. got, I'm you gonna got take plenty it. Of, you're not going to take it? A quarter, you're not going to feel that. Just fucking snort it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, you boofed it. He put it in his ass for the audio listeners. <laughs> Jacob Seroff does not fuck it's around. a quarter. You got to get yeah. everything you can out of it. <laughs> he gets into the bloodstream quickly. You know what you going to do? All right. So that's all the stuff that's going in the prize no, bag. No, you didn't do me yet. Yeah, I had a feeling yours wasn't worth talking no, about. No, it is. I got a, I got a, a smiley Fusco bobblehead that I brought. Oh. No, I got um, I brought, uh, what did I, get? I have this little thing that's, that keeps wax and it says V on it. I assume that's for vagina, but I don't know. It could be for something else. I guess there's other V words. Um, this is uh, something someone threw on stage for me in Tacoma that says a little edible that says eat me on it with a little key like Alice in Wonderland. It's kind of cool. I don't do edibles. You have no idea what that is. I don't, I, but it was it's something that landed do on stage. Do you want it, Lewis? Do you like edibles? No, no sugar, bro. Take a quarter of it. Come on. Just, just I just put a quarter it. of it in my ass. I also, uh, something that happens to me occasionally, someone will like, tweet at me. put sugar in your ass? Yeah, totally someone will occasionally tweet at me and tell me that I do too many Jew jokes on the show, and that always makes me really upset, so I brought Hanukkah candles just to piss that guy off <laughs> that said that this morning. Fuck you, dude. And uh, no, I'm, he, he also said he liked me, so I'm sure he's a good guy. Um, and, but I think I brought the best prize today. Oh, really? I saved it for last, yeah. I'm glad you called it me last. I have an original vintage from that, not some fucking Target graphics tee bullshit, an original Star Trek for the Voyage Home t-shirt that I brought. I think it's kind of, I think it's kind of a prize. That's right, virgins. It's even in your size, Jacob, ladies medium. <laughs> it's not. It's a men's large. If it was a ladies medium, it wouldn't be in the bag. It's a size 3T. Can, we, can I can keep this bag too? Yeah, you can. That's nice. <laughs> Put those candles in there. That Adderall just kicked in. Oh, yeah. What, what happens when it kicks in? I don't know. Just my butt feels numb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll start with Jacob on this uh, first uh, question that I am going to ask because everyone else is going to be surprised by it, maybe. I don't know how much you listen to this show. But, Jacob, what was the last movie you saw? Uh, you were there. It was Fifty Shades Darker at the Cash Oh, Theater my God. What a f it was fun, horrible. I thought it was great. Yeah. yeah. It was a great movie. I mean, the first one was good, but this one was better, I thought. Stop it. Yeah, I'm joking. Why it was the worst. It was the fucking worst. Yeah, you yeah. haven't seen the first one. No, I haven't. Yeah, you jumped right to the second one. Yeah. No need. You know, you didn't feel lost at all. Really. I feel like this is kind of the Empire Strikes Back of the series. That you, you, don't, you know, you can, you can go right to the second one. <laughs> Yeah, it, it was uh, it was interesting, and now I'm I'm sort of committed to doing an interruption of uh, part three, which is called F Fifty Shades Freed. Oh fuck! I'm Whatever busy, that I'm busy means. that day. Yeah, yeah, we haven't <laughs> announced the date yet, but I don't blame you. <laughs> for go ahead and you just go ahead and fill your calendar. Yeah, that was rough, uh, and uh, it was like it, it's so bad it was hard to have a good time even making fun of it. It was, uh, the, yeah. but we had the we people had that were there enjoyed themselves. Yeah, it's it's fun to hate on something like that. You know, because the world's too nice right now. <laughs> it's fun to just go hate. Lewis, what was the last movie you saw? What percentage of the movie does it, do I do I have to have watched? A quarter. Oh, interesting. <laughs> and also, do I ha is it a new movie or a movie that I'd seen before? It doesn't matter. Just the last movie you saw. At least a quarter. Some of. of. The Founder. Oh, okay. Why didn't you watch the whole thing? Fell asleep. 
But you know what uh, was probably your most interesting part of the movie to you? Um, no. The invention of the quarter pounder. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. <laughs> He enjoyed that one. He enjoyed that one very much. Other cities would have laughed at that. <laughs> Do you intend to pick up on the rest of it, or did you see enough? Because uh, I, I have not seen it all the way through myself. I think I got it. Right? I think I know what happens. Yeah. It's fine. You know, everyone gets fat. We kill everybody. Cancer. That's the end of it, right? <laughs> Everyone's got cancer. All the kids are fat. I don't think so. That's not the end of the founder? I haven't seen it at the end of it, as I just mentioned. <laughs> I think but at the I end he tells, that he tells Vicky Vale he's the founder at the end. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get fries? Let's get fries. <laughs> <laughs> I like Michael Keaton a lot, but yeah, I just, I, the founder, his character is not sympathetic or even a, a villain. He's just sort of a guy that just yeah. fucked over some other guys. He's got a weird, like, uh, head... <laughs> Like the whole the skin, I don't know, man. It's just not. Yeah, I don't like the skin on Michael know, Keaton's just, he's head. He's not Jack Bauer, or he's not. He was never Jack Bauer, was he? Okay, never mind. That's Kiefer Sutherland. Is that Michael Keaton? You know what, guys? I quit. <laughs> Can I just pick someone to you give the prize to? Now? This guy's leaving. He's like, fuck We're this sorry, whole. man. We're sorry. Fuck this whole production. We'll be funnier. No, he just realized he wasn't wearing pants. <laughs> He's calling the cops because we're giving out Adderall. Yeah. Eric, have you seen any movies? I, I just saw one called Rumble. It's, just straight up Rumble? Just one it's word? It's called Rumble. It's at the New Art right now. It's about the history of uh, Native American music. <laughs> and it... this <laughs> I know. Yeah. Like comedy. Uh, this thing blew my mind. Yeah? It, it was un, it's at the New Art this week. What's, and it, it what's is, Native American music? Well, basically... Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Oh, yeah. Who's saying that? Smallpox Shakur? It's that for two hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, I said, you, who's you, saying that? Hey, Smallpox oh. Shakur? I feel like that didn't get a... I think we could say anything we want because we've got one of each on the panel tonight. <laughs> Who's transgender again? Which one of you? I'll, I'll be that. Okay. <laughs> I got the beard for it. Would you go? Is there a female version of Jacob you'd go with? Jacob Bolina or what? Uh, J I, I thought. Or I'm, would you be I'm, like, uh, like Bruce a, Jenner and be like, "Fuck it," and yeah, give I'm yourself a whole different name? I think I'm kind of a Tammy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> uh, Vanessa, have you seen a movie? Uh, I mean, you know, one or two, but no. um. <laughs> Uh, I saw Django Unchained like last week at the New Bev in 35 millimeter with my nice. black friend. Nice, like at mid. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I got it. I'm sorry. <laughs> like at midnight? Yeah, midnight. Okay. And, uh, theater. You'd seen it before though. Uh huh. And yeah. I was like, let's let's do it again. Yeah. Yeah. And fun. It's cool. I mean, it's cool seeing it in 35 millimeter. Mm. Did people cheer and stuff for things that happened? Uh, just for the N word. Just yeah. <laughs> Like when you see Jamie Foxx's junk, did people go crazy? People just cheer when, because Tarantino owns the theater, yeah. and so people cheer when his name goes on, and oh, then it's yeah. silent. In case he hears it in his home. Exactly. <laughs> gives, gives everybody their big break. He's got like a baby monitor in the theater, <laughs> and he sits at home, and he just waits for people to cheer his, his name. Uh, but yeah, it's a it's a great uh, revival theater, and uh, they really they do show uh, you know prints of movies instead of uh, this digital nonsense. And Glorious Bastards is next month. Um, mm -hmm. Any Jews want to go with me? No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you really could with through Tarantino. You really could uh, develop friendships she's with the, all the different groups. She's like the hottest girl I've ever met that talks like dudes that used to beat me up in high school. <laughs> <laughs> So that's uh, that really makes her the hottest girl you've ever. Any Jews want to come? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now here's the tougher question that I ask everybody, and I don't. I, we're uh, I gotta be careful about the time because we started a little late, and so I want I want all my minutes, but I don't want to I don't want to push the next show back too much. But we'll start with you, Jacob, because you've probably been thinking about it. Best movie I've never seen. Have you seen um, the film uh, The Duelists with Harvey Keitel and David yes. Carradine? Yes. Is it David or Keith? It's Keith. Um, I think it's, whoever it is, it's uh, early Ridley Scott. Yeah. Right? I think it's his first feature, actually. Yeah, yeah. You've seen it? Seen it. Fuck. It's a good movie, though, right? I guess so. That's a really cool movie. <laughs> 
Thought it was boring. <laughs> really? We already had this. We've had this discussion many times. Jacob likes things that are boring. <laughs> <laughs> To me, to me. Not, they're not boring to him, of course. I like two minutes of a guy sweeping up a floor in a bar. Yes. That's a Twin Peaks reference. <laughs> two, at least it was just two minutes. It was two the minutes. The fucking shovel painting. Did you get that far? Did you get to the shovel painting? <laughs> no, but people told me about it. Well, you got to be kidding. You paint shovels for eight minutes? It was a, it was a few minutes of shovel, <laughs> of shovel painting. You got to watch the movie about uh, David Lynch, and, and uh, there's a documentary about him as a painter. And it... Like, fucking watching paint dry would be more entertaining <laughs> than watching him sitting around, puttering around doing his art. But he seems like a cool dude. Sounds right up my alley. I like it. Sounds boring. I can't wait. Can't wait to have him on the show. I'll invite you back when that happens. Please do. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of questions for that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but isn't, Eric, you can back me up on this. Isn't his answer sort of like it's whatever you want it to be? Like, he doesn't really have answers. Doug, you should focus on the donut, not the hole. <laughs> that was really great. Yeah. <laughs> now, say it as, now say it in David Lynch's voice. <laughs> <laughs> he's everything you want him to be. He's like the nicest, coolest guy ever. And he's like walking around with a cigarette and a fire extinguisher and a bullhorn. The whole time. It's amazing. What does he do with the fire station? In, in case something happens, we're covered. Because I'm not technically <laughs> supposed to be smoking here. Oh, that was probably what he said to somebody when they said you can't smoke on the set. He's like, I don't have a fire extinguisher. Does, does he just hold it or does he wear it like a Ghostbuster on his back? Or? He, carries it around. he carries it around with him. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. <laughs> he's so happy about it. Look how happy you are. No wonder you, when you went in to meet him, he probably just cast you as Smiley right away because you're so happy to meet him. You, uh, you don't meet him. You go deep in the valley and the camera's on you when you go into the audition and then they ask you weird questions and everyone else is like playing it cool and I'm like, I know I can't because I'm a nerd fan of the show. So when they asked, like, you know why you're here? I'm like, yeah, it's Twin Peaks. And I started laughing. And I think that's why That's he, it. He's like, yeah. he's yeah. smiling. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And they had me on hold for two other things, and I didn't get it. And then I, you have no clue what you're doing. And then when you come in, he goes, I just knew I was a cop. But I'm like, I'm probably a bad guy in green. And he's like, okay, you three are cops, but you're also brothers. And he turns to me, he's like, you're the baby. And boy, do you laugh a lot, and we all kind of like it. It keeps everything going. Okay. This is a fucking, this is amazing. Nobody else needs to be here but me and you right now. What, uh, can you, can you do, I wrote can, down on this, look on this piece of paper, I wrote down, I allowed for time for 10 minutes of Twin Peaks talk. <laughs> right there, see, it says that, 10 minutes of Twin Peaks talk. Then I knew, it says jizz right next to it. I, I knew that could that. Ha- I knew that could happen. Wait, so you do the laugh on cue, obviously, because you had to. For yeah, the, can he, you do it but, now? No, but yeah, well, he would literally, he did everything. People are like, you must improvise. I'm like, no, he would do it like a marionette, where he'd go, okay, on this one, your brother's going to say something funny, and I want you to kind of blurt out two and stop on the third. And I go, <laughs> yes, okay, that'll work. <laughs> That's so great. That's so great. Bobby didn't do any of this shit for me. No? <laughs> Nothing. Well, he's yeah, had he 20 years of this. In 20 years, I'll be jaded. And, All right, kid, whatever. 20 years. 25 years. No, I meant looking forward for Eric. Like, can you imagine? 20 years from now, you're still smiley on Twin Peaks. Man. Eh, are worse. the numbers good? Is it doing good? I don't know. I think subscriptions are up. I don't know. What network is it on? Uh, Showtime. Uh. <laughs> Here's your answer. <laughs> I'm glad we have an investigative journalist on the panel. She's like, what horse shit are we talking about right <laughs> yeah, now? What is this? I only fuck with HBO, this? Jews. <laughs> <laughs> I used to work at HBO. I worked at HBO for like three years. Yeah. What like, happened there? I left. I feel like you've probably been writing the last two seasons of Game of Thrones because they're fucking... <laughs> Horrible. Don't say shit about the last two episodes because I haven't seen the on last Dog two. Dog loves television. Um, right? <laughs> yeah. Talk about TV it's not TV. It's HBO. <laughs> you work there. You should know. That's why they fired her. <laughs> yeah, she's walking around. They're like, going, what's the hey, slogan? What's the slogan TV. now? She's like, I keep on forgetting. <laughs> uh, who has got one? A great movie I've never seen. Did you see one called Goodbye Solo? Oh, no. man. This movie stars. It came out maybe five, six years ago, and it stars a guy named Red West, who was Elvis's bodyguard, and he was a stuntman. 
and he got his first starring role when he was damn near 80, and it's a no-budget movie made in the South, and it's about this recent, I think he's from Senegal, cab driver, immigrant, that drives this guy around, and Red West wants to kill himself. He's like, I want you to drive me up that mountain and kill, I'm going to kill myself. And he's trying to talk him out of it, but also he wants that fare. It's really an interesting, good movie. I, I'm going to take you it. there, but I don't want you to kill yourself when yeah, we get there. Yeah, I want the 50, but maybe Pay I can give you some love. Don't kill yourself. Yeah, and I loved it. Goodbye, Solo. Yeah, I liked it. Didn't Ron Howard take over directing duties on that? <laughs> <laughs> Jacob with a solid Star Wars joke. What a surprise. <laughs> what a twist. Lewis, have you thought of one? Uh, you know, good, uh, good old movie called Ocean's 12. <laughs> That's your favorite of the three? Yeah, you know, it was, uh, it was a classic, and uh, I think it's pretty rare that, uh, you know... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. I'm trying to think of a movie that's good that you wouldn't have seen. Uh, right? It's a challenge. No, because all good movies everyone's seen already. Who, uh, you haven't. That's uh, that's the theoretically that's what happens. All right, I got one. Hidden gems. I got except one. Puerto Ricans. They've only seen 25 percent of all the good. That's movies. That's all true. <laughs> um, no, I remember there was one that uh, I watched when I was on mushrooms when I was in college, and it was called Leolo. 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 What's that about? It was like a subtitled movie. I think it was in French. I, I, was, I was fucked up, man. And, and yeah, dude, I know. I, I remember it was like just, a, it, was, it was like. Are a, you sure it's not called Goodbye, Ciolo? No. No. I was just watching NBC CISO. Oh, RIP so. <laughs> Han no, it, was a, it was about Star a little Wars kid and he like grew up in this maybe it was an Italian I don't know dude but he grew up in this town and it just kind of followed him it was kind of like fucked up it was him like I don't know I, mean, he, I remember him fucking a piece of meat and like how do you think it's spelled L-E-O-L-O -O. that's what got you the fucking a piece of meat part like I gotta spell it. I gotta fucking Leolo. google that shit. no I always wanted to know how it was spelled I was just waiting for him to take a breath Leolo may be French, I'm going to write next to it. Or Italian. It seems more likely. Or Portuguese. Leolo. Oh. It can be whatever you want it to be, Doug. All right. Leolo. Anyone? No? I win. This, yeah, this might, this might be the hidden gem I've been looking for. That's right. Uh, there is no movie named Leolo, Doug. What? I made it you up. You made up Leolo? No, it's out there. Are you sure you're not thinking of Leolo and Stitch? <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa, do you have one? Uh, do, you, do you like watch Wes Anderson movies? Yeah, I've seen all of them, I think. Which one is we well, no, going to say? I, no. Um, <laughs> uh, Blue Jasmine? What? The Woody oh, Allen dude, movie? You, you saw it? Yeah. Fuck. Why do you like that so much? No, it was just it was the first thing that came to my head other than Wes Anderson. I don't know why. I don't know. It was made by Jews. <laughs> Aren't they all? <laughs> Which <Good> ones? <laughs> what, Eric? Was Blue Jasmine the one where he was in Paris? No, no. that's, Owen Wilson. that's, uh, that's oh. Midnight the one in Paris. San Francisco with Louis C.K. in it. Oh, okay. no. You're thinking what's, of Rugrats. No, what's the, what's the lesbian? That's right, the, that's the lesbian movie? Blue Jasmine, right? No. Oh, that's a Woody Allen movie. Yeah. Fuck. What's that movie? Oh, you're thinking of that long lesbian movie? You're thinking movie? of Wonder what? Woman. <laughs> what's that lesbian movie with the blue hair? Shades of Blue. What's it blue called? is the warmest color. That's why have you seen that? Yeah. God damn it. Yeah, what three hour lesbian movie? Yeah. You know I've seen it. <laughs> you know I'm down for that. I didn't care that I had to read the whole time. Because I read between the lines. <laughs> Seems so stupid. But that was a good one just to recommend to people in general. Or in genital. <laughs> Okay, Bert, it's time to turn the show off because I'm going to say, let the games begin. We've got name tags, a few of them in this audience. Uh, oh, a gentleman has a dollar bill. Is that a dollar bill? Yeah. Okay. It's an interesting name tag. So um, 
All you got to do, <laughs> panelists, is each go select a name tag of who you would like to uh, play for this evening. Um, uh, Jacob wants to jump over the table at that dollar bill right now. Um, I smelled it before so he even pulled it out. excited about the dollar bill. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have the fat um, one? Okay. No. Yeah, just, uh, oh, he's bringing it to you. I'm keeping it, and I'm keep and really, yeah, I'm keeping it. Oh, boy. Maybe, yeah, maybe you're Uber. Do we just point at the ones that we want? Or no, we? you can go <laughs> like physically get it unless you want to make them bring it to you. I like that better. What's your yeah, thing? That works too. That one has weed. Hmm. All right. Wait, what? It's not really, you damn don't, it. we don't really need to discuss them now. Uh, but. Uh, what does yours say? <laughs> Uh-huh. All right, yeah, everyone just get up and go get I'll one. I'll get the, the Trejo donut box. Okay, okay. he's going to get you. that You're donut box yeah. over there. Wow, that was... Doesn't it come with you? Thanks. All right. If you want me. Okay, yeah, well, donuts in here. So I'm sorry. normally I would go to commercial during what just happened, but uh, it's all happened, so we're going to we're gonna go to commercial anyway. And we'll be right back. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most efficient name tag selecting... Yeah, and so the thing you got to stay away from, you guys, is everybody's written a shithead probably on the back or somewhere on the name tag, and that's their consolation prize if you lose tonight, so don't say that out loud, and uh, I'll, I'll say it at the end of the show. If you lose. I, and, you know, uh, Jacob, uh, Jacob's lost. I have. Once or twice. <laughs> yeah, but if I, I mean, if I lost a, a panel with three noobs, I'd be, that'd be pretty shameful. But, you know, I, I was getting cocky for a sec, and then I went, then she's been... <laughs> Dale, Dale, Dale Cheeseman, Dale Cheeseman, Dale Cheeseman yeah. put me in my place, and he, he, won, he beat me twice in a row. Once was questionable, but yeah, I've been, I've been, uh, I've been trying to be a little more humble about, about, about All that. right. But Luis tells me back. Luis told me backstage. He's I, Luis. Sorry, I just fucking ethnic, right, dude. ethnic I'll, your name up for you. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, I know. He, he told me that he's very competitive, but he doesn't know that much about movies. Mm. So I'm wondering how this is going to play out. You know, why'd you tell the other competitors that I told you that? <laughs> his his name is pronounced. All that. His name's pronounced Luis. <laughs> <laughs> Gomez. Hold on. Hold on. Gomez. And he got donuts. But let's let's talk about who you're playing for though cuz you we, we it's a dollar bill. A dollar bill, you know, it's I guess that's the, the my inner Tammy. There's some guy pulls a pulls a one out and I fucking <laughs> <laughs> and he wrote too rich, too he furious. Too rich, on too fur it. I'm assuming his name is Furious because he's mm -hmm. a black dude and rich, rich, uh, rich is a little too basic, for, right? Your name's Furious, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's my, that's my boy Furious, and um, so yeah, I'm playing for him. I'm keeping the dollar, but also I just felt like I don't, I really just don't see enough black people at this venue, so that was the main reason I paid you. Like, you know, that's always my favorite hockey players are the black hockey. Like, I always go for like the black dude in the, in the non-black situation. That's like a thing that I'm into. It, the band in Living Color, you know, you get the idea. <laughs> Can you use the dollar after it's been... Oh, yeah, you can totally use it. Really? I'm gonna Touched by a Jew? Yeah, you can use it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to pay it forward and give it to a black stripper. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Luis, you found some donuts. The Trejo's donuts. Yeah, I'm excited. There's real donuts in here, yeah. too. And I... the guy just wrote David on the box. His yeah. name is David, David. Trejo. <laughs> Your last name is Trejo? No. Well, thank okay. you, David. I David. appreciate it. Very smart. Good you, job. He knows that comedians are poor and fat, so... Are you, are you excited to eat all those donuts? I can't fucking have the donuts because I'm not doing sugar. Oh, perfect. Here you go. Because what I like to do is throw them back at the crowd. Yeah! yeah. That's what happens, Luis. Yeah. If, the, if David was funny, he would have came on every one of those donuts. <laughs> If he has a, just one ounce of funny in him. You'd have to. Oh, Commit to the bit, Of course. Man. Why I mean, wouldn't you, you come to. on those donuts? Oh. Yeah, they look like nice ones. Trey has donuts and tacos. Is this going to throw Oh, I'm going to throw it right into that hat? <laughs> oh! oh! Yes! Holy shit! And he put it in his mouth. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was his hat. Dude, he looks like he does that all the time. Like... <laughs> My sky hook hit the oh, line. What a hilarious girly throw you have. <laughs> that was crazy. It's a sky hook, he keeps saying. <laughs> oh! Well, nobody wants yeah, a donut now it's on the floor. Now we just crowd. threw a dirty donut at your audience. That's the point. <laughs> there we go. It's a metaphor for my comedy. <laughs> oh. All right, everybody's catching them. I There's one eat. more. Or is yeah. that for you? Do you want to throw one, Vanessa? Uh, sure. <laughs> Vanessa, show Jacob how to throw. Yeah. <laughs> this is how you do you it, Jew. It? Oh, oh, shit. Well done. Put it right in the hands of the receiver. Hit him in Fantastic. the numbers. Fantastic, yeah. Very well done. 
All right, we're going to play a series of games. Oh, sorry. Let's find out who you're playing for there, Eric. Uh, Nicole, who attached a free bomber in a dube tube, <laughs> which these are amazing. You light them, and then you drop them right in, and it, all oxygen is cut yeah, off. Yeah, you seal so it, it up again, yeah. It's changed concerts forever. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do the rest of the show as David Lynch? I was really into that. <laughs> yeah, what would David Lynch do with that joint? Well, I'd probably meditate first, truthfully, Doug. There's a lot more answers there. <laughs> That's a talent. That's a talent. He's Wait, so it. you're playing for Nicole, and she wrote Thor Ragnarok on there. Thor Rag Nicole Rock What's on that, that mean? big sign. There's this movie coming out called Thor Ragnarok, <laughs> and Nicole really... Got her name in there very cleverly. She put the countdown, the day count. She put 65 days on there for you, too. Oh, nice. Oh, I didn't say it at the top of this And this 65 is... 65 days till Ragnarok. This is quality. Like, this smells incredible. She didn't just put a free joint. It says a lot about you as a human, truly. Thank you. That, that is quality. Great work, Nicole. Vanessa, who do you got there? Uh, I got Nico Libre, who caught the donut in his hat. Uh, really proud to represent him. Oh, it's an honor, sir. It's an honor. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we're going to play a series of games. And uh, the winner of each game gets to go first in the next game until the last game. And then the winner of that game will be the person who, uh, whoever you're playing for, will get all the, all the uh, prizes. And uh, Lewis just pointed at the guy. <laughs> reminded me of an like, old-timey moment in a baseball movie. Where the as he's going to the plate, he points to things and then make, makes it happen. We're gonna knock it out of the park, Doug. Okay. This first game is called "Live, Die, Repeat." I'm gonna say the title of a motion picture. First person who repeats it back correctly wins. Huh? Yeah, get ready. Sounds easy, but it's not. Wait, let me get this straight. So you say the name and we just say it back to you? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Only someone who's high would be like, this is <laughs> a good this, this, challenge. This is a really good game. Well, it is a challenge because you can't all do it. I feel like I have an Only advantage. Only one of you can I'm, win. I'm closer to you, so the sound will hit me first. You think that's how sound works? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> and we're all coming through the same PA, dude. Ow. The trouble is you got to get it. You got to repeat back the exact right title. So from the first few words, it might, you might not know the exact title. But then again, maybe you will. You just call it out. Yeah, just say it. <laughs> just say it all as fast as you can. Put your phone away, Jacob. It's not going to help you. <laughs> Let's put an Instagram just start story. Just typing it in there. For, Fury, for my boy Fury. <clears throat> This is just, of course, as always, between the people on stage. If you know it in the audience, don't shout it out. <laughs> Here's the title. Oh. Oh, brother, where art thou? Dad. Poor. Dad. Mamas hung you. <laughs> in the closet. Is this a porn? What is this? <laughs> and I'm feeling so sad. <laughs> oh, dad, oh, dad. <laughs> oh, dad. I'm sorry, Nico. Poor dad. Mama's hung you in the closet, and I'm feeling. Oh, just someone just needs to repeat that back. Dad, I'm dad. feeling. Oh, dad. Oh, dad. So dad. Poor dad. dad. Poor dad. <laughs> Mama's hung you in the closet, and I'm feeling so sad. Jacob is our winner. Oh, that's a movie. That's a real movie. That's the real fucking title of a, a movie. Is that what Lolio translates to, or something? From 1967, starring Rosalind Russell and Jonathan Winters. And it always, I, oh, my whole life, that's always been a title I go to is just a ridiculous, 
you know, maybe not as bad as who is Serona Miss Merkin and why is he saying all these terrible things about me? <laughs> but that one might might come into play in this game too because it's hard. It's hard. Like, I just got a fucking headache. <laughs> I'm you should have taken that Adderall, man. It's really Jesus helping. Christ. <laughs> All right, well, this next game. So Jacob won that one. Sort of. Jacob, I, Jacob was the best at that. The I, best at sitting there staring at me like, what is happening? I was doing like fucking like it was a riddle in my head. I was trying to go the opposite words. Let's try another one real quick. Fuck you, Doug. <laughs> He's gonna MMA the Godfather. The Godfather. Yeah, see, Vanessa oh! knows how to do Nico? it. Nico. Wow. I love you. She's okay, good. <laughs> Okay, one more, one more. Snow dogs. Snow Snow dogs. dogs. (laughs) There's never been a group of four people that excited about snow dogs. (laughs) This is how they brainwash people. They're just like... Cuba Gooding Jr.'s family. Cuba Gooding Sr., Cuba Gooding Jr., Cuba Gooding... The Goodings love to all just yell snow dogs. (laughs) (laughs) When they're going to brunch. All right. (laughs) Who's up for brunch? Snow dogs! <laughs> Let's play ABCD's Nuts! Let's get nuts! Jim and Sam! All right, so this is a game where it's a spelling game, and since Jacob won the first game, he gets to go first. And then we'll go to Lewis and then Eric and Vanessa. One at a time, we're going to spell out something, and by that I mean we're going to use the first letter... Uh, or not, you know, we're going to lose all the letters, but we're going to start with the first letter. <laughs> and in honor of Eric tonight, we're, we're going to spell Twin Peaks. Yeah. I feel like that's in honor of me, too. <laughs> a little bit. I'm going to cough. In honor of one of the stars of Twin Peaks and a guy who is very familiar with <laughs> who saw what Firewalk has happened with me. on all of, all of Twin Peaks. Yeah, you've seen it all. Opening night in the theater. You're a completist. Firewalk with me. Yeah, yeah, you've seen all that shit. Big deal. Yeah. So we start with the letter T. All Jacob has to do is name any movie that begins with the letter T. But if he writes down the movie that I wrote down ahead of time on this piece of paper, he wins. wins. Yeah. Well, Lewis, you're going to probably get the letter W. Unless Jacob can't think of any movie that begins with the letter T. <laughs> An example, of course, would be The Godfather. Go. Jacob. Twin Peaks Firewalk with me? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a fun twist for me to throw that on there at the beginning, but I went with The Elephant Man. <laughs> ah. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes a theme emerges, Lewis. The letter is W. Just name any movie uh, that begins with uh, the letter the first W. first the same one you're going to think of, dude. I know it is. I got to do a different one. I know it. W. Any movie that begins oh, no, with I W. I want to get the one that he thinks of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. That is a great guess. I, I went with... Wild at Heart. Yeah, that's right. Fuck! Ah. Eric, the letter is I. I? Yeah. Any movie that begins with I. I got it. <laughs> and does it have to do with David Lynch? Or I, you tell me. Ah. Yeah? Ah. Mm. Oh, no. Huh? I Love Trouble? No. Okay. May I do? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jacob. That would be Inland Empire. Inland Empire. Uh, yeah, okay. that's right. See, J- Jacob figured this shit out. <laughs> what the fuck did he figure out? The what next, am I missing here? The next letter for Vanessa is N. Any movie that begins with N. I wish I'd ask. Social Network. Okay. Um, I don't know any movies other than Social Network that David Fincher did at the top of my head right now. What? I isn't, don't... It, isn't it a David Fincher movie? No. Oh, okay. I wasn't paying. He it. fucked that up in two ways. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I didn't even know this movie was done by David Fincher. Uh, N. Um... Also, wrong letter. <laughs> wrong what? guy, wrong letter. Yeah, you are so off. You said N. <laughs> network? The social network? No, I said I wish it was S. Oh. <laughs> N. Um. Any movie begins with it. I know. I just can't. to stay in the game. Right. Um, you don't have to match me. Okay. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> There's a stickler in the crowd. Yeah, it's, called, it's, called, it's called A Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh. Darn it. Yeah. So it's wrong? No. Okay. <laughs> Jacob, the next letter, of course, is P. Well, you didn't say, that you didn't say yours. 
Oh, not another teen movie. <laughs> <laughs> a classic. That is my favorite David Venture <laughs> movie. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob gets P. Okay. Yeah, there's not enough letters not to. Enough. I mean, it, David Lynch hasn't made enough things to cover all these letters. No. Yeah. So you just have to say something that begins with P. Well, I want to get the right one, though. Yeah, you might as well get the right one. <laughs> just say that. Just say the right P title. Jeez. If there's a movie called Pepperoni Pizza, I would have picked it. <laughs> I don't think there is a Lynch one, so I'm going to just say Peter Pan. No. I wrote down Predestination. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Cheeseman. We've been talking about it a lot yeah, lately. E is your letter, Lewis. Mm. <laughs> That's an M. <laughs> E. Oh, I like the way you're doing this. You just say a long E and then drop right into it. Evil Dead. Evil Dead. No. I went with Eraserhead. <laughs> hey, Eric. Hey. 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 A nightmare Before Christmas. A <laughs> uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, Is that what you want to go with? No. If I wrote it down, is that what you wanted to go with? Uh-oh. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. <laughs> I did not write it down. Oh, shit. I don't want to go with I wrote down Annie. Ah. The black version. Ah. Thank you, you have to specify. Ah. <laughs> it'd be great if that was like on IMDb as the official subtitle. Well, Blanny is what some people call it. Oh. I know, that's rude. Don't don't do that. It's a Christmas classic. <laughs> uh, Vanessa gets the letter K. Um. Not a word that ends with the letter K. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I fail at this game. I don't know. I went right? It's it's a panicky situation. Well, no, I've been thinking about it for the last so like many... five minutes. <laughs> And um, you can't think of anything that begins with K? Mm, I went through every Disney princess movie, <laughs> every Marvel movie, every Disney movie, or DC movie. Disney? D- DC movie. I think I had some of your bait pen accidentally. <laughs> like the secondhand bait pen. <laughs> Shit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get kicked out. I'm you sorry, You can pass. Nico. You can pass. Oh, pass. Thanks. Jacob, K. Oh, past the, wow, I was, yeah. I had my answer. You gotta answer K now. Okay, K. Um, Here it is, answer it, K. K, K. That's not so easy, is it? Uh, Kill Bill Volume 1. Fuck. <laughs> right here on this piece of paper, I've written down Kill Bill Volume 2. Ah. Shit! <laughs> That's like a 25% Puerto Rican win right there. That's what that is. <laughs> Look at that shit. Volume two. It says it. Yeah, yeah. Got you, buddy. Uh, <laughs> for the win, this is your last chance, Lewis. This is it, baby. S. And S. it's not a David Lynch movie or a David Fincher movie. <laughs> Just mind meld with me and say the classic S movie that I wrote give me, down. Give me a hint, dude. Come on, man. All right. It's, it's a motion picture. Go. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Uh, so. It's not a still. It's a whole movie. Snakes on a plane. Oh, I like the way you did that. But I went with <laughs> Silverado. Oh, yeah. A so second favorite S movie. No winner of the ABCD's nuts. Let's get nuts. So Jacob <laughs> gets to start us off in a round of Last Man Stanton. We've got. By the clock on the wall, I figure we got about 17 minutes or less to, uh, to wrap this up. And uh, Last Man Standing is a game where I'm going to take some pre-selected audience members, step outside, get really high with them, and we'll see you guys later. Because once I go outside and get high, I might as well just go home. No, uh, we're going to get some names 
Maybe maybe more than one name. We'll see how this plays, but we're going to get an, at least one name of an actor, and we have to take turns naming movies that person's been in. And Jacob's going to get to go first, but we'll switch the order around. I like to play along, so I'll go second, then Vanessa, then Eric, then Lewis. And I pre-selected somebody in the audience who did not write back to me. Someone wrote that they're very excited to be here tonight because it's the first time seeing Doug Lowe's movies in person after being a longtime fan and seeing me do other shows. And uh, I wrote back, hey, do you have a name for Last Man Stand? And there was no response. But someone else responded, oh, I've got a name. <laughs> if he doesn't have a name. But let's go to him first and see if he's thought of something. Where is Famous Diarrhea? <laughs> right here. Are you here, Famous Diarrhea? Yeah. I've heard of you. <laughs> you have all the diarrheas. You're the best known. <laughs> it's really more infamous diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, right? We want a diarrhea that's on the run from the law. <laughs> Not just well known. But Famous Diarrhea, have you ever thought to yourself, if I got picked on, if I, if I got chosen to name somebody for Last Man Stanton, this is who I would say? Sure. You got one of those? Yeah. Who do you think, who do you, would you like? How about Charlie Sheen? Oh, that's some Famous Diarrhea, to be sure. <laughs> the great Charlie Sheen. All right. Probably not enough, though. We probably need another one. You got the panel doesn't seem that Let's match pumped up. about Charlie Sheen. I got Chuck Sheen. I got deep check. Oh, you think? I got deep check. You okay. think you can go deep? There's only deep so deep you can go. Got, uh, I'd mash them up. I mean, I got like two, three. Okay, that might uh, get you movies. get you a ways, but let's uh, let's uh, you know sweeten the pot here with the names. And this other guy that reached out to me and says, "If famous diarrhea can't pull this off, I'm your man." Jeremy underscore Silveira. Yep. <laughs> you, don't you don't know famous diarrhea? <laughs> How'd you find his tweet? Just snooping around my shit? They'll, they'll appear. It'll show you like people that yeah, you yeah, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because you follow me, you saw me talking to him. Exactly. And you were like, I've got a name. Yep. What's your name? Hugo Weaving. <laughs> Hugo? Yeah, okay. Okay. Weaving? I'm into it. I, <laughs> fuck you, Jeremy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. Hey, he could have said Emilio Estevez. Can you have like a Brad Pitt or something? It had to happen someday, but I feel like if you guys will give me a couple minutes, I'm going to murder an audience member. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else said Hugo Weaving one other time. It might have been on a Lost show, but we, uh, we rejected it. We just said, fuck that. <laughs> fuck Hugo Weaving. All right, so Hugo Weaving. Yeah. And what'd you say, Vanessa? Brad Pitt? Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have one, Lewis, that you like? Just, uh, just any actor that I like? Yeah. Uh, Alicia Cuthbert. <laughs> wow. You fucking weirdo. <laughs> fucking, uh, that is... Yeah. I take back the murder of this gentleman. <laughs> and I focus all of my murder on you. The great Alicia Cuthbert. You know you can't say 24. She played know, his daughter. Speaking of Keith for Sutherland, I know, I you're obsessed Keeper with does. him. I love you're Keeper. obsessed with Keith. Why did you say him then? Uh, you know what? Too late. Damn. Keith or Sutherland was... Cuthbert or nothing. Sutherland was in Twin Peaks Firewalk with me. Uh, then why are you... Don't do that. Okay, that's fine. Sutherland. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so... All of those names. All you got to do when it's your turn is name a movie that's got Charlie Sheen, Hugo Weaving, Brad Pitt, or Elisha Cuthbert. So Brad Pitt. Yeah. And no, no lifelines. You're all on your own because you got four names to pick between. So we're going we're gonna to just fire around. You know, try not to take too long to think. Jacob, start us off. California with Brad Pitt. How is that spelled? With a K. Thank you. Um, as long as we're talking Brad Pitt, I'm going to say my favorite Brad Pitt title, The Mexican. Lewis's least favorite. <laughs> There's a boxing rivalry that goes back a long time. De La Hoya Trinidad. Not cool, dude. <laughs> Vanessa? Um, seven. Yeah, I mean, we write it down with a little seven instead of a V. <laughs> they do that on like uh, direct TV. I just thought that movie was coming on, on like a Cinemax or something. It's real hard to figure out how to spell yeah. lucky number eleven. 
SL7 EV. Eric? Uh, if we're saying Brad Pitt, I'll no, go. No, you, you can switch it up to anybody. Uh, Don't have to stick to Brad Pitt. I like eating up all the Brad Pitt stuff. Vanessa freaks out. Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll go uh, A River Runs Through It. Oh, okay. Somebody's sensitive. <laughs> Surprised? <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, Thelma, and Louise. Oh, you really are going after her. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Jacob? Uh, 12 monkeys. Wow, everybody's going after Vanessa. That doesn't seem cool. True romance. <laughs> and glorious bastards. Yeah. I don't know how it's spelled, though. Because he spells it wrong on purpose. Fight Club. Mm. <laughs> if they rebooted that, would you want to be in it? Yeah. Could you grow those uh, meatloaf tits? Yeah. <laughs> We're already working on it, baby. <laughs> already working on it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a five-year plan. Already, pre- already prepared for a role oh that my. doesn't exist. Oh, yeah. If they remake Fight Club. I'm ready. I'm Deeply gonna, met. I'm going to have meatloaf tits. <laughs> Come on. Bitch I'll tits. be ready, yeah. All right, uh, Lewis. Snatch. Oh, wow. You guys are really going hard on her. How about the Alicia Cuthbert classic, Young Guns? Oh, you, I see what happened. <laughs> Wait, who's in that? Charlie Sheen. Oh, okay. <laughs> I had to double check. Oh, we're jumping over to Sheen, are we? I don't mind a Sheen jump. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Is he in that? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. He plays the guy who's like, hey, Ferris, what are you doing today? <laughs> Let me make out with your sister. Turns out I have it off. Is he in Charlie's Angels? Who? Charlie Sheen. <laughs> <laughs> so now he's not the Charlie they refer to in the title, no, Charlie's he Angels. Like, he, he had a it. couple of whores around his house that he called that. <laughs> who I mean, played? Vanessa's just playing word association <laughs> right now. I heard... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Charlie's Charlie, Angels, Angels in the Outfield. I don't know. Uh, Charlie used to uh, <laughs> like to put in the chocolate factory of those angels. I think. Dude, okay. Achilles. What? No, Brad Pitt movie. That's not what it's, that's his character in the movie. <laughs> yeah, it's called Achilles. Where does it take place? It's fucking in Rome in like a million years ago. <laughs> I say we give it to her. It was called, what was it called? <laughs> yeah, it's not called it. Why not? It's, you can't, She's great. Fuck I think it. You're almost there. It's, it's you, probably, you probably fuck dudes with the name of this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like I would wager you have. It's called Achilles, isn't it? It's called. Can I say it? Please yeah. stop this. <laughs> no, you can't say it because we. Someone else gets to use it if she doesn't say it right. Yeah. Just name the last three right. dudes you fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Not cool, Jacob. It My wasn't nickname. Jacob, right? No, no, no it wasn't. Um, you've never had sex with a Jacob. How about? Uh, just pick a different one. You'll find out soon enough what, what you're saying wrong. Because I'm going to dive on it. But you got another Brad Pitt movie. Those are the only ones I've seen. Oh, man. <laughs> what, about that, what about that one where he was like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> oh, vamp, uh, Interview with a Vampire. That's the one I meant. There you go. <laughs> I didn't finish it. I was going to say, and then Tom Cruise is like, I'm a vampire. <laughs> Uh, the movie that you meant is called Troy. <gasps> Fuck, you're right. It is Troy, yeah. Yeah. Jacob? So you see how good the joke was now. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, I fucked up the order. It wasn't even my turn. Yeah. Mm. So Troy's off the table. I'm, I, I went wrong turn. Eric? Major League. Quality, great. You got an applause yeah. fucking break for that? Hey, I mean, this guy was thinking about suggesting Bob Euchre instead of... <laughs> Hugo Weaving, so uh, I have a same I, result either way. Obviously, sequels are now off the table, right? No, you oh. can do any movie. Really? Yeah, that's, that's part lot. of the fun. That's a lot. But you got to get the title just right. Really? Yeah. A full title? Full title. Yeah. Ooh, smooth. Exact verbiage. I like it. Mm-hmm. Cool world. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, good job, Jacob. Let's go v for Vendetta. What? That's Hugo Weaving. Yeah, he's in that. He's V. He's he is that. <gasps> He plays the V. Um, oh, by the way, we can, if you listen, you can hear Vanessa think. 
<laughs> no, because I didn't know who that actor was, but I love that movie. Yeah, yeah. that's him. He's mm-hmm. also in another movie you might maybe know. I don't know. Might be the best movie you've never seen. Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. <laughs> yeah, no. It's no to Wong Fu. I'll, I'll give you that. What do you got there, uh, Vanessa? Wasn't that dude in Underworld? Which dude? The Hugh, the Hugo Weaving? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, the he plays the the dad, the angry Marco. In what? In because I remember someone being like, "Oh, that's the V for Mendonca," and I was like, "No way! I love that guy." In Underworld? Yeah, he plays the old vampire. You sure, guy. You're not thinking of Kate Beckinsale. No, that's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, remember she was killing Lycan. <laughs> Eric, Red Dawn. Yes. Now more than ever. <laughs> that's a Sheen, Charlie Sheen. Yeah, okay. Lewis? The girl next door. Yeah! Oh, Cuthbert time! <laughs> Jacob? The Matrix. Yeah, that's a good one, but I gotta go back to Cuthbert. <laughs> I'm excited I know a Cuthbert. Yeah, you do. Old school! Yeah, you do! Yeah. Ah, dude, she was in high school in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's getting very Puerto Rican in here. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa, do you got another one? So who is who is the ch- the There's chick? The she was the girl from she was the porn star in the girl next door, and she was the girl that had sex with Luke Wilson in old school, and then it's like, oh, by the way, I'm in high school, and he's like, what? Mm. She's also the girl in the Weezer Perfect Situation video. All right, you Weezer. Okay, you, I just feel like someone will, someone will tweet me about that. You Weezer nerd. Also, Jack Bauer's daughter on Twenty Four. Yeah, mm-hmm. so we're at, we're pretty much. So dead, there's dead, no. Dead, she's a dead end at this point. Her whole career. Yeah. <laughs> like, so you want to you want a Brad Pitt or a uh, Charlie Sheen or a Hugo Weaving? Yeah, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm still not sure if she's clear who Hugo Weaving is. Nico, I'm sorry. Doesn't he have a Guy Fox mask on most of the time in V for Vendetta? Yeah. The whole time. Yeah. He never shows his face. There you go. But his voice, he's been... He's not in King's Speech. That's Jeffrey Rush. He was in The Matrix. Mm. Um, I think I lose at this game. <laughs> All right, she loses. Eric? Wall Street. Oh. Who's in Wall Street? Oh, shit, it's my turn. Charlie Chuck Sheen. Sheen. No, it's no, got one that. of my favorite acting moments of all time because Martin Sheen is with Charlie Sheen in an elevator. He's not happy with him. And he says this long sentence that ends with, and I don't judge a man by the size of his wallet! <laughs> he just suddenly screams wallet and it's just like, wow, well, that is a choice. <laughs> wallet! Okay, there's no reason to yell that. <laughs> Coin purse! <laughs> Am I making you nervous, Lewis? No way. What do you got? I just got like four in a row in my fucking head. Oh, here we go. It's over, dude. Hot shots. Oh, Jacob? The Matrix Reloaded. Okay. I'll go to the Matrix Revolutions. Ooh. Eric? Hot shots, part two. Yes, you mother. <laughs> Sorry. Look, your I respect four you for knowing it. You're going to go four right away, all sequels. <laughs> you right. still got two more by oh, that yeah, earlier yeah. count. Minute work. Yes. That is true. Uh, the Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring. Oh. The Fellowship of the Ring. That's a Hugo Weaving. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Charlie Sheen in The Chase. Christy Swanson, right? Mm-hmm. Wait, are you, you sure that's what that was called? Yeah. There's another thing he's in. That's like that? That you might be thinking of. But maybe. That's the one with Christy Swanson? I remember he was really rude to her in interviews after that, after that movie. Yeah, he wasn't nice. Yeah. <laughs> commented on her vaginal odor. Eric. <laughs> Eight men out. Mm. That's a good one. I didn't make that up, by the way. Lewis. 
Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Whoa. <laughs> uh, Jacob. The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. You cocksucker. <laughs> that was Elisa uh, Cuthbert. That was her name. <laughs> you cocksucker, part three. <laughs> I'll have to go with <laughs> so intense. I want to do another Brad Pitt. Oh, 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 oh. Burn before reading. After reading, sorry. I'm out. Are you? Yeah, that's how strict I am. We must be sort of. He pulls that. out a gun and kills himself. <laughs> you, know, you got it. <laughs> No, I said, I said the other thing, so I, and we got to wrap this up. We got one minute. <laughs> Eric? Platoon. Whoa. Ooh, fuck you. Yes, he was. All right. Hugo Weaving was great in that. <laughs> dude, my fucking hell. Are you out? No, no, no. Come on, dude. Wait. No, dude, I got it. Do it, it. for Come David on, Trejo's Come coffee on, and donuts. Fuck, dude, David, I'm trying to do this for you, bro. Ah, uh, Brad Pitt, man. He's been in so many movies. Yeah. He was in... He doesn't do a lot of sequels, though. <laughs> you got to think of those different titles. Five seconds. Legends of the Fall. Nice pull. <laughs> now go back to thinking. Don't wait till your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to be that guy. But didn't I say Legends of the Fall? No. no. River runs said through. Said River asshole. runs You're right. through. Very right. Interchangeable movies. Interchangeable. <laughs> they really are. That'll bite me. Uh, Jacob? A movie we disagreed on, War Machine. Yeah. It's a fucking Netflix movie. Um, uh, well, speaking of Brad Pitt and war movies, he fucking loves that shit. Uh, Fury. Great movie. Saving Private Ryan. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, dude! <laughs> All right, so you're out? You know what <laughs> Use your microphone voice. You can't give me a second. I can. One. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Here it is, man. Final fucking thought. I'm out. Oh, shit. Apologies to what shows on after us. Jacob? Johnny Swade. Oh, you son of a bitch. Like eight more. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's doing pretty good. I'm out, Eric. So Ocean's out. 12. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. God. I see where this is going. Yeah. Oh, Ocean, Jacob. Ocean's Eleven. Ocean's Eleven be, says Jacob. Ocean's Eric, Thirteen. Okay. It's be battle the sequels. Back to you, Jacob. Okay. I just said Brad Pitt doesn't do sequels. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great example. Hmm? Uh, uh, Lord of the Rings: The uh, Return of the King. Mm -hmm. Wall Street Two. Wow. Full title. Full title. Greed, greed is good. Oh Man. shit! No, don't say it yet. Do you want to change your answer? Greed is still good. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to another movie. Ah. Uh, um, Major League Two. Yeah, I is like there it. a full title on that? No, nope. there's not. Wow. That's the whole thing, it's right? Just Major, League also, Major League Two. There's also Major League Three: Back to the Miners. Oh. That's when they started fucking kids. He's not in that. He's not in that one. Um, who? Who you go weaving? Yeah. <laughs> Do you got another one, Jacob? Sure. Um, uh, I don't want to waste. Them. We gotta end this thing. Okay. Oh, uh, bring it home. Oh, uh, Wall Street money never sleeps. Yeah. Oh yeah. The curious case of Charles Watts. What? No. Wasn't that? Did I have that title wrong? It's like yeah. an indie yeah. Chuck Sheen movie. What? Charles Swan. He's right. No. But thank you for knowing no. where I was going, friend. No, I got it. That's not what it is. Yeah, that's wild that you made a mistake. Of uh, that title. Is also go ahead, Jacob. Oh, it's the curious case of Benjamin Button. It's yeah. Brad Pitt. Oh yeah. And there's a curious case movie with Charlie Sheen in it. Oh yeah. That's bizarre. It's curious. Yeah, yeah. But uh, maybe not a uh, unexpected. Uh, Jacob Siroff is our winner. Curious. <laughs> Jacob. Wow, he bought, he bought all this for a dollar. <laughs> uh, come get everything here, uh, f Furious. <laughs> I'm going to just keep you a dollar. For one I got it. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. And everybody else, pass your uh, name tags down here. Real quickly, we'll start with Jacob. What do you got to plug? 
Oh, just uh, t- social media, Instagram, Twitter, Jacob Siroff, 1F. Okay. That's it. Very cool. I Lewis, check out my Lewis podcast. Lewis J. Gomez podcast. Legion of Skanks and uh, yeah, at Lewis J. Gomez and that's that. Yeah, Legion of Skanks. Check it out. You'll love it. Yeah, I think you will. Uh, I've been a guest on that. I had a very nice time. Eric? Uh, watch We Bear Bears on Cartoon Network and then I have a movie coming out called Flower and Family that has the Insane Clown Posse in it. Oh. So yeah, get ready for that. All right. Um, Vanessa Johnston. You can follow me on Instagram at Vanessa V. Johnston. I'm at Flappers tomorrow. Crushing Flappers. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, UCB. Uh, um, and Twitter at Vanessa John Stew with two O's. Okay. Vanessa Johnston was taken, so. Um, that goddamn. Yeah. Did you reach out to her? You know what? I thought about it, but then I was like, she's in New Zealand, like doing her thing with like two followers, so like whatever. <laughs> I haven't looked into it much, but you know. No. Yeah, <laughs> I think you did the right thing. And uh, thank you to all the uh, panel this evening. It was a lot of fun. Jacob Siroff, Louis J. Gomez, Eric Edelstein, and Vanessa John Stew. Johnson, and uh, as always, my credit score is a shithead, <laughs> or you mean that that place, my credit store, oh, no, I mean com. My credit. Your personal credit score is a shithead. Okay, uh, Joel Austin, Austin, <laughs> Joel Ostein is a shithead. <laughs> And everyone else having a dog is a shit. <laughs> now it's time for Doug to watch another talkie. Eyes of Gold is viewing prowess makes him cocky.